I've had it! We are back. Christmas break is over. We always take two weeks off for Christmas. Came and it went. Now we're back to work. We're working on some tractors. We got just a little bit of cover crop left to plant. And that'll pretty much finish out all our tractor work until, say, mid-February when we start breaking some land. But let's mosey on over here and see what the guys are doing. Trevor, how was your Christmas break? That was pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good. Nice little two weeks off. What did you do? We went to the beach one week. About a whole week, actually, went to the beach. The other half, doing stuff that I need to get done. All right, Kyle, how was your Christmas break? It was great. Anything exciting happen? Uh, working on my house. Working on your house, all right. How was your Christmas break? My Christmas break was fantastic. Just went by way too quick. Yeah. What are we working on here today, Kyle? Uh, well, the disc is leaking at the, where everything hooks up, I think. Yeah, I think it's an O-ring right here. Possibly might be cut or it was a little loose. So hopefully this fixed it. Let's mosey on and see what Jeff is up to. Yo, Jeff Rowe, how was your Christmas break? Christmas was great. Yeah, we went to the mountains. Yep. Which is my happy place in we, Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, yep. And uh, we had a good time up there with the kids. Saw a little bit of snow. Saw a little bit of snow, just enough for me. Back to work now. What are we working on here? Uh, just basically servicing this tractor up, getting it cleaned up. Uh, got to get the serial number off of it because we have got to get the new A arm. Yep, which is this here. This pin came out, fixed it, but it keeps popping back out. So it's obviously wore out in here. So that huge chunk there, I'm gonna have to replace it. Unless anybody's got any tips, cannot get this fixed. And Jeff welded the P out of it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Put a real good weld on it. Mm -hmm. Just too much play, too much pressure. Too much pressure. All righty. Looks like Kyle is climbing into 8330. Gonna see if it's gonna leak. <coughs> It was super loose. It could have just got loose. Loosey goosey. Yeah, because it started leaking as soon as I crank it up. <coughs> ah, been coughing, sneezing, sore throat for like five days in a row. Came down here to the field. Keefe is uh, running out our oats and our grain drill. And let's see how Keefe's Christmas break was. Keefe, how was your Christmas break? It was awesome. What's the funnest thing you did? The funnest thing I did over Christmas break? Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can't say it on air. I guess just. Uh, I've, I've having, stumped him. I guess having the family over and, yeah. and then get, doing the presents with grandbabies and stuff. Cool. Probably about the funnest thing I did. And now we're back to work. Like I said, these are the oats we had left over in the grain drill. So we're just running this out and uh, gonna plant. We got a little 20 acre dry corner we're gonna plant. Here comes Kyle with the disc now. It was doing an okay job uh, without dissing it first, but uh, starting to clump up and all that. So it won't take long, it's just 20 acres. We can get that disc in no time, get this planted. Then we're gonna get all this cleaned out. Grain drill will be done for until the end of this year. And then this tractor is going to go to the stalk chopper and finish uh, chopping stalks. We got a we got we got maybe 80 acres of stalks left to chop, and that's it. What's that? <coughs> yeah, you can. You can just cut, cut the ends. Yeah, when you, when you're completely done. Look at this. Overalls. Overalls. He's copying me. Yeah. He just needs cowboy hat. But you got you you got the keys. He's got the liberties. Man, I can't say this. It's like twins. <laughs> Father, son. Can y'all do like a line dance or anything? No? Uh, like the hoe down? There you go. And he's off.
Well, everybody, I got a new drone. Uh, this company hooked me up, sent an email, said, hey, would you be interested in uh, trying a drone? I said, 100%, I would. I love drones. So, air compressor, messing us all up. Just give us a minute. Thanks, Keefe. Anyway, so for years, I've had the GoPro Karma drone. Love it, great drone, but they've discontinued it. So I keep crashing them, and I just buy refurbished drones on eBay. Uh, so I ran one in a cucumber picker, uh, messed it up a little bit, ran it into my daughter's hand. She had to get uh, glue back together, destroyed that one, and uh, wrecked another one in the shop, actually. And then there was another one. But anyway, so this company uh, sent out Ru Ruco, is that how we say Ruco, it? I believe. Ruco. So this is the Ruco F11. Looks awesome. Um, and we're going to try it out. So this is the first flight. We're going to try it out. Oh, whoa. All right, and then I think it's forward. All right, we're recording. So good, the controls are the same as the GoPro. Check it out. Distance limited. What? Oh, I gotta, I gotta adjust all that. <coughs> Say pretty easy to use. Oh yeah, look at that. The screen on is really nice. I do like you can save it directly to your phone. You press that button and you zoom in, zoom out. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Dude. And look that's that your shot. shield. Look at that. Doom. Doom. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was that? I don't know what that button. Oh, I took a photo. Now, how do you land it? Hit the home button. Kyle, look in the instructions. How do I land it? Uh. How do I land it? The land button. What? It's down. Where's it at? The sun's in my eyes. <laughs> look at that. Wow. They even turn. The way you had it. What would you rate it? Just first, first Dude, right now, which I mean, I'm so used to the GoPro Karma. It's the only drone I've ever had. Out of a 10, right now I'd give it a 7.5. 7.5. That's Seems pretty simple. I love that the controls are the same. And um, it's convenient just to have your phone instead of the extra. With a GoPro, you got to have the, the, whole, the whole kit. You got to make sure it's charged. All How that, heavy so. is that? You tell me. That's pretty light, hey? Pretty well, light. Yep. Compared to the GoPro one, I mean, the uh -huh. GoPro was like a brick. All right, everybody, I've made it to the field, and here is the drone. You can tell, super lightweight. Let's get this sucker flying. Mayday. All right, so my battery's getting low, and uh, I thought the battery was fully charged, but it uh, looks like it is returning home. It is way, way up there, and it's uh, bringing her own home, so. Well, we got a brand new pivot. We got a four tire rinky that replaced an old um, Zomatic that we've had for, since I would assume the 80s. This, uh, the older pivot was at another farm that we had like seven miles down the road. It was brought here, put up, and then, uh, so yeah, now we've upgraded brand spanking new pivot. That'd be super helpful this summer uh, when we're watering. You don't have to worry about breakdowns for, for a while. You always gotta worry about breakdowns, but. Should have a couple good years of just nothing happen at all. No gearboxes, tires, and all that. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But I came down here. Why don't we fly the drone again? I've got a full battery. I made sure this battery is slam full, 
fully charged so we'll put it up in the air try it out see how long this battery actually lasts and make sure you guys uh, check out the link in the description if you guys want a good affordable drone so far i'm giving it about a about an eight i haven't seen the footage yet but uh supposedly it's a 4k camera so if it truly is um i think i'm gonna like it the controls are a little more touchy than what i'm used to the gopro drone which that's the only drone that i can compare to uh seems to be uh, a little less touchy so you press it just a little bit and it kind of goes a little bit whereas this one you press it just a little bit and it wants to zoom shoot off with you so a little learning curve with that but uh yeah let's put this guy in the air and uh see what she looks like guys so my official rating of the drone one being the worst 10 being amazing is 8.2 so looking at the video footage it didn't look to me as good as the uh, GoPro drone footage uh, like the glare in the Sun sometimes looked a little weird uh, but the actual operating the drone super easy to learn and uh, I actually like this a little bit better than the GoPro uh, like I said it's way more responsive it's very touchy but once you kind of learn it uh, I feel like you can be a little bit more precise so if you guys want a good affordable drone click the link in the description check it out and get a uh, good drone all right back to the video Okay, it is the next day. Here we are, 8330. Um, batteries have went bad, so we went to our local uh, feed store, best prices in town, and got some uh, interstate batteries to put it into it. We got this, Trevor. You can hop back and finish spreading your oats. It's taking you two days to spread about 20 bushels. Well, it wouldn't take me two days, but somebody overloaded me. Because they said they had just a little bit in the seat. Well, that here. little bit. Who. That little bit turned out to a whole lot. Yeah. So. What's that, Kyle? What you need? I thought you said something. One down, one to go. Tap, tap. Tap it in. Red is negative, right, or is it positive? I hope I, it's I think red is negative and black is positive. I think you're right. It's like the Black Panther from Marvel. Wakanda Forever. What is it? Wakanda Forever. Never heard of that. It's Black Panther. That's where they came from. Wakanda. Uh, okay. Always remember, righty, Lucy, lefty, tidy. Hey, Randy, Joe. What's up? What is it? Turn left to tighten or turn right? I, I can't think, remember. I think it's turn left. Mm -hmm. Hey, is it red's positive or is it black? Another one. Get that other battery. You want the other one? All right. You have the strength of a Black Panther. Who would win? A Black Panther or a Black Mamba? That's like the world's most deadliest snake. Uh, I think the black mamba. There's a black mamba got a bite. They also call them a two-step mamba. Do you know why? Because uh, they say you, you take two steps and you're dead. I think she's tight. She's good, all right. Got him in there, moment of truth. She's gonna crank. The sun's out, beautiful day. It's gonna crank. Three, two, one. <laughs> We did it! Ooh, that 
drag is too. But it works and it levels. All right, see what else we can get into. Keefy, what you working on? I uh, said that um, steam cleaner won't fire up. It come on, but it won't make no heat. Something is wrong. Call 205-793-4332, but they're out of business. Call mm -hmm. well, 1-800-FIELD-ROSE. 1-800-FIELD-ROSE. <laughs> Keep you a fix it. 1-800-KEEFY'S CORNER. That's it. KEEFY'S CORNER. We should ask KEEFY'S CORNER. Brand's positive. KEEFY'S CORNER. We got fuel, but it's not firing. So first thing you do is check out your firing mechanism. You got a coil here. Mm-hmm. That puts a lot of voltage on them two pieces and makes an arc across there to ignite the diesel fuel. So one of two things, either I'm not getting my signal, my 120 volts to here, or this transformer's bad, or that's so dirty in there, it's just got it all fouled out. Yep. Well, right now it's showing OL. What that's does that mean? Open circuit. Open circuit. Overload. 2.8. Say on your output, you got like 19k, 19.7. Any chance the cold weather messed it up? No. No, it was acting up before we went to vacation. Yep. Trevor, what you working on? I'm blowing off the back of this tractor. Holy smokes! Look at that. Yeah. That looks sharp. And guess what? What is it? We have to announce the winners of this lucky hoodie. Yep. That Jim's kids made, and I hand knitted. Turn around, give it a little spin. Give it a little spin. Ellie Rose did that on the back, little scribbles. It's nice. Now we are gonna sign this because the people that we picked said they wanted to sign it. So, the winners of this lucky hoodie is Aaron and Tina from Tennessee. Thank y'all for supporting. Thank y'all for uh, putting in the email for this. Thank everyone who put in the email for this. Uh, but those are the lucky winners. 25, 30 emails. 30 emails, probably. Yeah approximately but Aaron and Tina hope you guys had a Merry Christmas Happy New Year and you are the winners congratulations all right thanks so much Aaron and Tina we will get this on the way so uh, I'll email you and then you email me your uh, address we'll make sure we box it up send you guys some goodies and uh, yeah thanks so much this is gonna be the end of the video Jesus loves you guys keep it in the field rows see ya bye, bye.